Hello, this is ZDs. Welcome back to another Mario Maker 2 video. Clearing more unclear 2020 levels. I have six levels for you this time, including a pretty cool Kaizo level, which will be the second level. Now, the first level, uh, we start off, uh, it looks kind of like a precision level, or, you know, at least a level with difficult jumps. And I'm like, I can dig that, as long as it's not like really annoyingly hard precision um, but it's not that's not too bad but what it turns out is that not only do we have and this jump right here is extremely oh I actually tried to thought maybe I could get on top of that guy at first but we need to jump down to the right here that's a very hard jump that I died on many many times starting right here though the guy is like I want to Kaizo block you in every situation. Um, so I basically have to search out invisible blocks uh, every, every jump. And <laughs> every time I don't, I usually get killed. Uh, right here, I'm looking to see if I, I, I need to go down. And it looks like that's death. But yeah, I think that the description of this level kind of says that it's a it's a bit of a troll level or something. And yeah, I boo, I boo it pretty fast with these Kaizo. Like, I get really sick of these Kaizo blocks. This stuff isn't too bad, but that first one down there killed me the first time I, I got to that point. And there's many, many more later on. Uh, he at least gives you an indicator which path to take here. I'm gonna try to uh, try to jump over that, but yep, Kaizo blocked. And right there, I'm like, that's it. That's too many. And there's an LOL there too. It's like, yeah, funny guy. I completely screw this <laughs> this up. But he has a he has a coin trail there at the end, and I thought I tried to try to do a running jump. Uh, I thought maybe I could jump off of this and jump over it. Um, I actually didn't trust the, the lower level, but I did. I may have actually tried it already by this point, but I will show it life. The whole the whole area is blocked off right here, yeah. Um, you can't get over there. I don't think. No, yeah, it's all blocked off. That whole that whole area, so you can't. So what you need to do is you need to take a jump under, right under there, and you can make it. And for the longest time, I thought I couldn't, and I died many, many times trying to do that. And I uh, finally, like, maybe I can get it from that angle, and I could. And then I, I don't know if I've done this in any video here, but I do do this once in a while. I, I leave a drawing, and uh, as far as you know, it's, it's a pumpkin. <laughs> Cause I can't draw. <laughs> so just say it's some sort of gourd, and definitely not the bird. Um. Yeah, screw you. It's that's not funny. It's not cute. It's lame. Yeah, Psych Spikes is the the name of this level. Now this one, I want to like this level. This is a a decent. Kaizo level with some shell jumps and some hard tricks, uh, but it pisses me off right at front. And this is this is how you ruin a level. And look, this level is really hard. And even if you don't get this perfect right away, you know you're gonna die everywhere else too. But can you please set up your your opening jump where I can actually see what the hell I'm doing? I boot it like in two lives because I'm like. Come on, man. That's a blind fall. Nothing nothing you do later is going to make me like this level enough for to, to give you a heart. That's just it's just stupid. Yeah, that there's a coin trail that doesn't lead anywhere near where you go. And it, it took me like maybe five or six tries before I got it. And then I immediately ignored the Z, which is spin. I was so excited that I got it, I just jumped. Here we go. Fail a few more times. It took me a while to get, get going on this one, and then it took me a really long time to get every single trick correct. Um, 
Yeah, we have to hit both of those bombs and they drop this piece towards. My other issue with this level, I have a few actually, but um, right here especially, there's a lot of waiting. Uh, and that just bothers me. This jump, he actually has a coin trail that leads right to where it should. So that's acceptable, I think. But the first coin trail just leads to a bottomless pit. It does not help. Um, yeah, you should just be able to see that first mole. It would be much easier. I uh, got another shell jump here. A bomb spin that I completely mess up. Uh, you want to kick that to the right and then land on it. Uh, the other the other thing that I object to is that it's it's styled in a speed run with a hundred seconds. Uh, so everything has to be done in one shot, and which is okay, but it's a pretty long level, and it's there's no timer really. I I beat it like with 25 seconds left on the clock. Here we get out of the pipe, there's another. That The part with the thwomps, there's nothing there. This part's really tough, but you, you don't want to go right away. You want to wait. Um, and we'll cut right back there. Yeah, wait for the second one. I, you know, at this point, I wasn't sure that I was in a, if I was in a hurry or not. This is rough. The timing on this bullet, you have to wait for the bullet to... But you really have to know when that's going to come out. And it took me a while to, to time it right. But yeah, so every every time you get to the next point, you gotta figure out the next trick, and you die, and it's like, this is a long level, you should have probably just had a checkpoint. Um, and this is basically the last trick, and I don't know if you can tell what I'm supposed to do here, but I need to shell jump, grab the pow, and then pow drop. And I also think that's, um, that trick is much, much harder than anything else in this level. Uh, here I don't drop it, right? But I, I think that that's an escalation of, of uh, difficulty in a way. And here I do it, and I accidentally walk off and mess up. And I was I was devastated at the, at that. Um, and yeah, look at me try. I try to go back, and I'm like, I I know I'm dead. So we'll see the whole thing now. But yeah, I, th I do, I, I think like a checkpoint would have really helped. Maybe even two, although two might be too many in this. It's, it's a, I don't know. It's a hundred second level, I think. Uh, so, I think two checkpoints would have been fair. One definitely, sh at least one. Um, I would have put it right after the, uh, uh, the sub world. Uh, and I probably would have cut out the thwomp part because the thwomp part is stupidly easy. <laughs> it's just a waste of time. Bounce off that. Bounce. This this part right here. There should should have been a checkpoint in this room, or maybe this room should have been there should have been something else there that was more difficult. But yeah, you'll notice like all the all the shell jumps are pretty much basic shell jumps. Um, nothing complicated. Uh, one's to the left, but all most of them are just normal right shell jumps where you could actually pause for the most part and, and You know check it out or a little bit anyway So yep, so we get to this part again Shell jump pow drop it's old pow physics I think and then you have to get over that muncher which is not as easy as it looks That's actually when I fell down. I knew I didn't just accidentally fall down. I was trying to jump over the muncher, but I, I should have taken my time a little bit, paused. I had plenty of time, because I did know. I had looked, and I saw what was through the, you know, past that muncher was the end. And I had plenty of time, so... I think I, I beat his upload time by, like, 30 seconds, though. So he's he must have really paused at, at like, the... Uh, uh, the part where you ride the spike balls and the and the part where you jump on the bullet. But yeah, that took that took me a good hour. Um, it was a tough one. I wanted to, I want to like it, but that that first blind jump pisses me off. I think it's fair. A fair boo. Uh, here here's some Japanese hot garbage. Uh, we have a a fire clown car level basically. 
Uh, there's just a bunch of crap here in this level. Um, but honestly, up front, it's not that bad. Uh, it's pretty generic. And I, I feel like the other people who had already played this felt the same way about it as I did. It had, it had a few boos already. Um, and we'll see the big issues with it later on. And honestly, it wasn't even as hard as I was making. This one didn't take me that long. Less, probably about 10 minutes. But, uh, this first part is fine. Um, stupid, but fine. Uh, I can't kill the dry bones with the fire. And I actually get I get shot with a bomb. I lose my firepower, and, I, and I'm getting bounced around. And I've, I'm like, I really want that firepower, and I can get more. There's a pipe that dispenses them that over to the left here. So I just went back and got him. Got another one. Can't get through this gap with the ball big, so I lose that one and grab this one. There's a bunch of... I don't know if they meant this to be a multiplayer level. Maybe that's the deal. You get to that point, you have to abandon your clown car anyway and get a new one. Some excavation here. Some clown car excavation. Um... Yeah, I mean, this level right at this point is pretty bad, but it's not, like, intolerable. Oh, I do get I do get to cheese this one a little bit, too. Um, there's a bunch of stuff I'm supposed to do in this area. Uh, you see where, the, where these on-off blocks are to the, to the right here? And I'm like, I'm going under that crap. <laughs> and I actually get hit by the fire bar, too, so I lost my firepower. I see some firepower there, and maybe I should go get it. I'm like, no, I'm cheesing this. I know I'm cheesing it. Make sure I can't keep cheesing it, because he probably thinks I don't have a clown car at this point. I, although I really don't know what's to the right here, and it turns out to be a wall, so I'm like, oh god, I guess we're going in the door. After the checkpoint, we get another clown car, another firepower. The whole level is based around clown car, so we're always gonna have a clown car. And it is a boss fight. Two flying boom booms. Uh, we're, we're gonna meet flying boom boom again, and I think the next level, um, flying boom boom is annoying. Uh, I can never predict what they're gonna do. It's, they, they really kind of do what they want <laughs> in a lot of ways. I think they do follow, uh, pretty clear patterns, but, but when you're flying around, they, they like swoop and go slow and dodge and fly up in weird ways, and it's like, man. But you know what? I have infinite fire flowers in this room, so it's not, there's no real danger. I could get hit. Um, and my assumption is I should kill both of these guys. In reality, only one has the key, so in the future, when I kill the one with the key, if I kill the one with the key first, which I, it tends to always be the one I kill first, uh, for whatever reason, um, that guy has the key. But yeah, there's only one key, so I was trying to get over top of him, so he flew right up at, into me, but the clown car's too slow. Yeah, the, this is definitely kind of annoying, but it's still, at this point, mostly acceptable. I don't think I boot it yet, but I get into this final room, uh, and we have a Bowser fight. There's two Bowser Juniors as well. Now, if there's no ground and there are Bowser Juniors, they keep falling out of the sky. And I could not avoid that at all. And instantly, I'm like, that. this looks horrible. And I think there are axes in that room, so I'm not the first person who's gotten this far. <laughs> it, took, it took a little bit of a strategy to get past this. And I think this is the last life, yeah. Actually, the one good thing is if you if you're shooting Bowser directly, you hit him with all three fire bars, he dies pretty quick. But yeah, if it, you keep a little lower, uh, you can get get rid of Bowser pretty quick and, and avoid the Bowser Juniors. And then you need another key from one of the Bowser Juniors, but if you go to the right, there's land, and they come over there and fight you. So that's easy enough. Um, yeah, like I said. <laughs> Kind of crappy level, but not too bad until that final boss fight, which is just annoying. I think I probably... I think I got to that final boss fight on my first life. And I think it took like six or seven tries to, to beat Bowser uh, without getting killed. Because the Bowser Jr. just kept landing on my head. 
And I had about 100 tries to start. It only took me like five lives, actually, I think. Uh, on to the next level. <laughs> This is another one I think I, I think I was a little bit of a whiner to boo it, but I really don't like this kind of level. Dropper. Uh, it's the kind of level that drops you down a path and you have to survive it. Now the gimmick here though is he gives you stars and lets you drop down this path. Now the next time when we get all the way to the bottom we have to hit an on-off. And then we have to go back through the same thing, but with only a mushroom. We start in this path. And then we have to get to, and, and this, I'm gonna die once here, I'm, then I'm just gonna go to the, the clear. Uh, we'll see the whole path again, though, from the star. Uh, I could just cut to the mushroom part, but I just just so you can see it. And you really just have to learn this, and seeing this path with the star isn't helping me because I just end up rushing through it. Um, because I don't want to spend so long, I don't want to spend a ton of time going through that every time. I feel like it's just easier just to go through it and learn it. And I, you know, I actually studied like the 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 level viewer. Uh, to learn it a little better, but yeah, you want to keep your mushroom as long as possible, obviously. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter how many times I went through it with the star, I never learned. This one took, this level took me about 30 minutes, actually. Um, maybe other people with a better memory than me could get through this. And then, after you get back, there's a, a Goomba there. Uh, he was blocked before by the red brick. And you kill him, he has a key. Yeah, that's called spawn blocking. They don't he doesn't come up until you go through it a second time, basically. I think I think the level is a little bit it's kinda clever, but I really don't like that type of level. Uh, maybe somebody else would would find that one acceptable, but I think it's more annoying than than not. <laughs> the next level. Uh, here's where we meet the flying boom boom again. This one is not it's meant to be sort of a Kaizo level. It's not that good, but it's also not that bad, so I end up neutral on it. Um Yeah, it's it's I, there there is some, there are some sniper thwomps above but they're actually like meant just to make you go faster but I didn't know that I think uh, I think parachutes would have been better on those guys that's almost almost a boo but I, I I like the kind of setups he has here I, I like the idea I can kind of tell what he's going for so I'm like ah, I'll give it a chance um, but I do wish this one were a little better. Uh, as I was saying before about Flying Boom Boom, is he's kind of unpredictable. I don't understand some of his indicators here either. Um, but I figured it out, what I was supposed to do, quickly enough. So you see this thwomp with the parachute coming down? I need a key up to the right. And the Boom Boom does not have the key. I had killed the Boom Boom by this point. It's the Goomba on top of that thwomp that has the key. So what I need to do is blow up these blocks... And then the Thwomp falls down with the Goomba on top of his head, and it kills him. And then I have to bounce off the Flying Boom Boom and go in the key door. Now that's the part that I had trouble with. Is I could not get that Boom I could not time that Boom Boom to jump off of him to hit that door. I, I missed the door a hundred times. I got killed by Boom Boom a hundred times. This is obviously the, cl the clear. And then after that... um. Well, I actually got kind of lucky that I cleared the rest of it in one shot, but there's a little bit of a thwomp ride. It's not that hard. And then there's a little bit of a precision stuff. Um, so, yeah, overall, this level feels kind of incomplete. But it's not terrible. Is this the only one I don't boo this this video? It might be. Um, I really want to like that Kaizo level. It's just that first jump just really makes me angry. There's a million ways they could have fixed that. The last level, Attack of the Piranha Plants, Pla, or whatever, I don't know. 
I, uh, apparently it's dedicated to Dashi, who is a YouTuber, I think. I don't know if he might be a streamer as well. Uh, I'll tell you, when I f started playing and watching Mario Maker 2, he was one of the most popular guys on YouTube, and I watched him, and he annoyed the hell out of me, so I me I never watched another video. Actually, I had gone, I did go back a couple of times to look, never liked him, so, but apparently he's very popular. He's one of the more popular guys. He, he quit playing a while ago, I think. And usually there's, there, there's a lot of levels dedicated to him, and most of them tend to be garbage. Uh, <laughs> You'll notice on this one, I had already played it and I had booted it. I was actually getting really sick of it. I had played it for a while. And then I, uh, I looked to see what I had to do next uh, from where I was. I was getting killed in this section right here a lot. And I thought I had to get through here with a mushroom. And uh, God, I, don't, I really just don't think it's possible. Um, there's one specific point right here where, like, you cannot avoid getting hit um, I try to get through here as, as far as possible but there's one point where there's a saw coming and there's a piranha plant and there's like no way to avoid both of them so in the next part I thought it might be impossible without the mushroom but it turns out it wasn't and I kind of looked at the program and I saw that there was a check or actually I noticed I might not even looked at the program at this point, but there was a checkpoint right above there, and I'm like, if I can get that checkpoint, maybe it'll be worth playing some more. I already played it for like half an hour, maybe. Um, and I was just not sure that I had enough material for a whole video, uh, so I was like, I really need to beat this. But yeah, I figured as soon as I get past that, um, it shouldn't be that bad. But I had booted and was kind of regretting booing it because it wasn't that bad it was rough but it wasn't that bad but then i noticed uh if you get past this room right here there's actually a dev exit which we don't see on this life because i die right away we'll go pretty much straight back there and there's a lot more level after this too i kind of figured there might have been a dev exit right away and i looked at that and i didn't see one um but there is right here uh, there's a lot more level to go as well. Uh, <laughs> I'm skipping like almost half the level. There's a whole other checkpoint, and there's a ton of ton of stuff, man. Uh, so yeah, that deserves a boo just for that. Anyway, if you've made it this far, thanks so much for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week.